important discussion. Who is doing what? And from what we're seeing in this panel and in this forum, it is a great question to answer. Who is the main stakeholder of nation branding? And we're seeing different experiences in different countries. Now we saw the experience of Peru. For some countries, from public diplomacy to uh, nation branding, and later on now we're seeing much more uh, countries moving to communication strategies and having under this strategies to have the nation branding or at some point it will turn only to nation brand and to have under it also uh, the marketing approach and to have all this strategy in one place, centralized strategy but implemented with different stakeholders. It's like the communication strategies are leading in some countries, and this is, I believe, it's happening in Turkey now, it's happening in Qatar, with the Directorate of uh, Communication, and Qatar with the uh, GCO, the Government Communication Office. And because winning the hearts and the minds through positive perceptions, it's not an easy job. It's not uh, only promotional videos, it's not a nice slogans. Today we will talk about nation branding in the world. I am James Martin, I'm the Global Associate Director of Marketing at Future Brand. At Future Brand, we are a brand-led business transformation company. We're based in some of the most exciting cities across the world. Not yet Istanbul, but watch this space. We're currently in Sao Paulo, Shanghai, London, New York, Buenos Aires. And what this means is that we can have feet on the ground and we can understand the local nuances that are needed. So we came out with three main attributes, which are multifaceted, specialist, and captivating. Believe it or not, these three pillars are still uh, on stage, are still uh, being uh, filtering every single communication the country does to the world, and are defining which is the messaging for.